So, I am Dr. Sharon Norley, and this is Ask Your Doctor. With the Asheville View, we really embrace equity for everyone. And you know, we hear a lot about vaginas. We hear about vaginal itching, vaginal discharge, vaginal dryness. We hear about vaginal warts, vaginal suppositories, vaginal probiotics. It's a wide range of vaginal intercourse, vaginal deliveries. We hear about the vagina, but we don't hear much about the penis. Do you know how big a penis is? Yes, I know you're saying, of course I do, yeah. Well, the research shows that an erect penis is 5.1 inches long and five inches in circumference. And you think, well, the guys out there are saying, well, I don't, mine's a, uh, way above average. Well, research has been done not only measuring the penis from a health perspective and a health practitioner, but when it's self-reported, the measurements seem to be larger than when they're measured by a health professional. There's a lot of myths, too, about the size of penises. For example, race. Now, the research done in Nigeria published in the journal of the British Journal for Urology, documents that in the thousands of penises that they've measured, that black penises are the same length as white penises, as the same length as Korean penises. Now, most men are kind of concerned about the size of their penis, and they get kind of anxious if they think it's not big enough. There's actually a term for that, and it's called panic penis. <laughs> Now, if your penis is less than three inches long, that's called a micro penis, but only about 1% of men have that. But there's a lot of other myths too. Shoe size, so for all you men that have been seeing women look at your shoe size, it has no relevance. The same thing with hand size, just saying. So when we look at the health of the penis, it's really important. But women, 71% of them, they're not concerned about the size of the penis. Now, even if the penis is laid out flaccid and it's measured, it's still 5.1 inches long. Now, the penises can increase a little bit uh, depending on the arousal, depending on the time of day, the uh, sexual activity of a person, uh, a wide range of things, and their health. But what's really interesting is that there's a condition that men really know, need to know about, and it's called prisopasm. Now that is when an erection lasts more than four hours, and it's a medical emergency, and you do need to go to the emergency room. The reality is there are men that stay home. They call their buddies and say, hey, guess what? Yep, four hours, going on four and a half. You know? But no, it's important to go to the emergency room because you could get damage to your penis. If you're really interested in finding out more about penises, you can go to Iceland. I'm not saying they're bigger in Iceland. I'm not saying there's more of them in Iceland. But there's an Icelandic penis museum with hundreds of penises. And the collector was asked in a recent interview, why, why do you collect penises? He says, well, it's like any other collector. You always want more, you always want better, and you always want new. Now I'm gonna give you some tips for keeping your erections healthy, keeping your penis healthy. First of all, eating well. And when you think about it, the only way we get well, stay healthy, is the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. And that includes your brain, and a lot of women think that's where the men's brains are located anyway, but it's also for your penis. So eating well, very important. And then staying healthy, and I know we hear this all the time, 
But for example, if you have diabetes, you should be careful about your blood sugar because otherwise you can get nerve damage. And nerve damage on a penis uh, interferes with its function. Same thing with heart disease. If you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, that can affect the blood vessels and affect your penis. It's really important to get your testosterone checked because normal testosterone levels or optimal testosterone levels in man are 800 to 1,000. Now, if your doctor tells you, oh, your testosterone level is fine, it's 300, it's not fine. And again, it's related to the brain because if your testosterone is in the 300 you know, milligram range, you actually increase your risk of developing Alzheimer's threefold. So again, it goes back to the brain. So be careful about alcohol and make sure you take really good care of your penis. It's really so important. It's important for the men. It's important for their partners. Because the penis is actually a barometer of your health. And if it's having some erectile dysfunction, and you know, it's just kind of, you know, kind of a floppy, it's not really working too well. Well, sometimes women are blamed for that. And what I'm saying is, take responsibility for your penis, have healthy re erections, and really enjoy your life. And this is Dr. Sharon Narling on Ask Your Doctor.